After a short stop at our first harbor in France, we were excited to continue sailing south. Calais, the harbor of our departure, is situated on the Strait of Dover and is directly across from the White Cliffs of Dover. These cliffs reach up to 350 feet and owe its striking appearance to its chalk walls accentuated by streaks of black flint. We could barely see this natural phenomenon from a distance and thinking back on it, we should have tried to sit closer to them. However, because of COVID restrictions, we were not allowed to anchor there or visit. Despite that, the mood on board was light and so were the winds. We got the parasailer up again in a lot more wind this time. We had fair winds from the northeast, meaning we were sailing downwind. Perfect conditions for the big parasailer. This would be maybe our fourth overnight sail, destination Cherbourg, Normandy, one of the busiest ports in France. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. Our sail through the English Canal started with sunshine and very light winds. So light that we put our parasailer up for the second time. We were a little nervous due to the forecast predicting that the wind would pick up a little later. But our fears subsided once we got it up and realized how much smoother and more stable the boat was. It was very comfortable. And we are celebrating, chip celebrating, that we got the parasailer up again in a lot more wind this time. It was a little bit more scary getting it up, but now it's really nice sailing. Right, Espen? Good sailing? Yeah. So Ivan was a good, good at getting it up. We didn't rip it or anything, so that's good. <laughs> mm. And we found a red balloon in the ocean. been sailing here for um, the North Sea, the English Channel actually. We have the Genoa up. We just tried out the uh, parasailer, which went really well in the beginning, but then the winds picked up to like 15, 16 knots. So we decided uh, to put up the Genoa instead, which we we're more used to, so we don't get over our heads. But now it's time for some dinner. We're having canned um, beef stew 
German version. It's pretty good. It's good to have some warm food when you're sailing. Is it good, Nikolai? Yeah. When we're on um, wavy seas, it's Ivan that that disks up the food so that I don't get sick because I get sick pretty quickly if I go down. I'm feeling good today though. I only took two seasick tablets and I'm um, feeling good. Even though sailing with the parasailer felt stable and safe, we didn't want to have it up overnight. So we switched back to the Genoa, which is easier to adjust in case of stronger winds. We got it up before sunset and had a smooth overnight sail. Did I say we had a smooth overnight sail? I forgot to mention this part. We got seaweed stuck in our propeller, which took us some time to get free. Almost 
our destination is in Charbourg, France. We've been sailing all night long. Um, it's been beautiful weather and uh, seas are not too bad. But right now we have two knots of uh, current against us. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. It says 6.5 uh, knots of speed in the in the water, but we're only going like one to three knots over ground. And I'm looking at this north marker, and we're just not passing it. We haven't passed it for the last five minutes, and it just feels like we're just treading water. And it's really boring. So we're almost there, and we're just tired and wanting to have our Dorito party. So right now, we're kind of sick of this. We were stuck here for three hours because current was pushing us back. And with no wind to fill our sails and the waves crashing against us, we were going nowhere for a while. Well, I couldn't handle this patience challenge anymore, so Ivan graciously allowed me to go downstairs to sleep away my frustrations while he stuck it out at the helm. to Charbord, France. Look at that uh, board behind me. We are anchoring right inside of this long wall. And we are so happy to be able to anchor and just relax for a few days. Here and there's a military vessel anchored there. It looks like they're doing some exercises. But it looks like a beautiful landscape here and um, we're just happy to be on anchor. Just relax now. Why there was lots of um, sailor churches around the world welcoming sailors from the harsh harshness of Mother Nature. <laughs> but yes, this is making me pray a lot, <laughs> and it's a good experience to see that you can't always be dependent on yourself. You can't always do everything yourself. You have to be dependent on on God sometimes. Yay. And just after I said this, we get instructed on the VHF to move our vessel to the harbor. Anchoring here was strictly prohibited to pleasure crafts and only accessible to military vessels. Oops. We thought we could anchor there because there were many anchor symbols on the chart plotter. Oh well, it was for the better since heavy weather was on its way. We are very, very happy that we're not out in this weather. Probably storming on the Bay of Biscay, which is not too far from where we are. Two stops away. Stay tuned for episode 16 to see how we spend a week in Cherbourg as we wade out the heavy winds. We tour the city. Whoa, look who. Discover the local delicacies. Get a lot of chores done. Get a stable week of school lessons completed. Go on a non-conventional scavenger hunt. Today we're going to go on a, a scavenger hunt. They're not good at following directions on taking one of those bags, bags for the dog, and picking it up. Come down. Explore the nearby nature and meet a new sailing friend who shares his experiences and sailing tips for the next leg of our journey. <laughs> 